morning. Vlog 522, taking a walk with the pups. Before the big rain. Yeah, there's gonna be so much rain in the next few days. That's what my phone says anyways. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, half a Malibu washed away. Don't could, say that. Could happen. During the night, uh, I don't know when exactly it happened, someone hit this wall here, which is was built in 1930. 1932. 1932. Kind of sucks because it's beautiful. Someone crash over there. Someone crashed in here with the door. I don't know what's going on last wow. night. Someone had a field day over the last couple days. Did you ask them? Yeah. What did they say? I guess on on the 31st, someone crashed into the wall over here, that wall, and then someone else tried to break into the liquor store and did and stole a bunch of cigarettes. And cigarettes. Stuff. That's all. I would have stole all the chocolate. How do you go for the money? Cigarettes, a big, you know, that's gonna kill you anyway. There is some weird stuff going on today. Really strange stuff. People driving really weird. I, I don't know what the deal is. There's something weird there. It's like what? perfectly round. It's a helmet or something. Look at it, it's perfectly round. It's not a rock. What is that? It looks like kind of like a helmet, maybe a bike helmet. It's a bowling ball. Oh. It's a bowling ball. Oh my God. In the bushes. Look at that hole. Bowling ball in the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a perfectly good bowling ball. And it fits. It fits perfect. You never know what you're gonna find when you take the dogs for a walk. You guys ready to go bowling? afternoon now I have been uh, pretty intensely working you know at the beginning of the year happens and you get kind of a renewed vigor and there's some things that I really want to achieve this year so uh, I really have been buckling down and working towards it, it was up about four o'clock this morning uh, just hitting it really hard so now I'm gonna take a little bit of a break uh, head up into town Maybe get uh, some coffee somewhere. I got some uh, some books and stuff with me that I'm just gonna kind of sit down, take a kind of take a, a breather, get centered a little bit. Sometimes you got to do that. You got to shift gears. You can't just keep doing the same thing all day long. So eventually your mind gets filled up, and you got to uh, uh, do something to release that. It's I'd go out, maybe go for a bike ride, but it's it looks like it's gonna start to rain any minute. I'll just get darker by the second. So. I think coffee is the way to go. Either they have some very serious bug problem in that building or the circus rolled in town. Not really sure which. I also did get an email from a couple of my sources for the vehicles. I got a bunch of cars that are going to be coming in this year. Starting on Friday, I got a couple of Jeeps, I got some Mazdas, I got some Hyundais, I got all kinds of stuff. But I think the first one coming is either a Willys Jeep or a Rubicon, not really sure, but that's going to be on, on Friday.
Wheels and Waves, two weeks. Taking the tree down. Christmas tree. Adios. We can make it happen. I worked from about four until about nine this morning, straight without uh, taking a break. Just you know, no breakfast, no nothing. So uh, kind of pooped out a little bit, then went took a walk with Kathy and worked out. Then went back to work. I worked solid for another uh, three or four hours and then decided to take this break. And when it gets cloudy here in town, people act differently. A little bit of a, not not necessarily a somber mood comes in, but people, uh, you know, decide to uh, kind of wrap things up and, and get into a kind of a cozy mood. And that's kind of what I am right now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to work and basically work for the rest of the day, wrap this vlog up, put on some slippers, and just, uh, you know, kind of cruise into the evening. And I think for the next three or three or four days, although I do have a few things I'm going to do and I have a car coming in on Friday, I'm going to try to get as much work done as possible. Epic day of work. I, I don't even know what time it is. It's probably around 3.30 now. When it gets to be about this time, is when uh, I kind of sometimes hit a wall because I end up getting up so early. Uh, I actually got up about you know 12 hours, 11 hours ago. On days like this, when it starts to rain, starts to you know uh, get a little cloudy outside, you can't really go outside and check out uh, car shows and do some you know, some cool things that you want to. Kind of like when kids want to go out and play, you kind of want to do that. I can't do that, so uh, so I'm making a point to to work. I just got streaming, which is actually pretty cool. I didn't really do that before. There's just not that many movies that you can see. The shopper, I don't even know what that is. But hard work pays off, and there's a reason that it pays off. We've talked many times about putting your attention on things, and if you maintain that, if you keep your attention on things, then things start growing and expanding. So hard work in one direction is very profitable. It's very important to realize that because unless you're you're doing a little of this and a little of that and a little of this and a little of that, you, you make progress, but it's very slow. It doesn't really work at, at liquid fast speed. But when you focus on one thing and you you you, you funnel yourself and you get precise and, and pinpointed and you know exactly what you want and you get determined and persistent enough to put the, the hours in, to put the time in, then you start to see progress. Then you start to see things happen. So the next three or four days, it's going to be kind of like that for me. Uh, not a lot of stuff going on, although we have a car coming in on Friday. As I mentioned, we also have, I think I'm going to the ADM on Thursday. I got a meeting with them, so we'll go down and check out some cool cars with those guys. It's hunkering downtown is what it is. So if you're in Southern California and it's and it's getting ready to rain and you kind of look outside, you know, just be grateful. Be grateful that it's that the rain is good. If you feel so inclined, if you kind of are excited about it, you think it's really going to be cool, then run outside, run around in the rain. You know, act like a kid. You got to get those juices flowing. Hey, that's it for today's vlog, uh, 522. Thanks for watching. Be sure to join us on uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that kind of stuff. Hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Be one with the coolness. One with the coolness. Yes, people.